Conoscevate già il personaggio il fumetto oppure l'avete incontrato con la sceneggiatura? Well, I uh, didn't know of Dampier, so I was very lucky. I got to, uh, you know, my first introduction was some amazing uh, drawings of Kuriak, this full body sketch, and then there was this sort of close up of, uh, of him smoking. And so I got this amazing image, which um, as an actor is, is a, a brilliant thing to be able to play because you instantly step into creating the character of the look of him and then the, the, the feel of him. So it, that was our, our, our Bible really, you know, this was our, our place to go, was always the, the comics. Um, and the, and the, the film is really based on the first two comics as, uh, you know, put together and it works perfectly in that way. Yeah. Ab absolutely. It's just, um, it, it, the comics are so evocative and the, um, uh, because the team have, have spawned from uh, f from Sergio Benelli, um, from the company, that it, it's very true to form, and we were in no doubt at any point as to what world we were inhabiting and and who these guys were. We had such strong visuals, which is uh, an amazing uh, resource, as you say. It's so suggestive. When I saw when I saw the armor with the spikes and the and the horse and the motorbike, I was like, I'm in. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's a dream as, it's as a an dream. actor to, it's to get dream. to do such, you know, to have such an amazing uh, uh, visual background to go on. It's yeah. a real dream, these, these cool characters. So, yeah, so exciting. Um, I vostri personaggi rappresentano le due anime della storia, quella, quella realistica uh, di Kuriak e quella fantastica di Draka. Um, in che modo i, i vostri personaggi, che sono così diversi, interagiscono con l'altro mondo? I think when I first read the script, what I really loved was this, you know, basis in a real world, and a world that we, we know, this, this war-torn, country and I love that it starts off as a very gritty war film really it doesn't quite it starts off with, with Dracula yeah. yes. but, the, high, but high there's, there's two there's two films there and they're both such polar opposites um, but they sit somehow so neatly together exactly I, I too was drawn in by the um, the backdrop to this I thought it was very clever I was not familiar with Dampier um, a, until I was approached to, to audition for this and um, I just thought in that sort of surreal, heady, very traumatizing um, world of the, you know, the, uh, the Balkan conflict that, that um, you know, it was the, kind of the perfect breeding ground in terms of f fantasy for, uh, f for a vampire story. And so I think they sit um, paradoxically very well together, mm -hmm. the two worlds. And, um, you know, you're, you get the other part yeah, of legitimacy you're, in, in yeah, a way. Absolutely, you know. very well said. No, that's, yeah, your, your very yeah, realistic character is, is immersed, is suddenly, you know, parachuted into an unreal world. And, and, and my character, uh, I feel, is, is, um, is very interested in the, in the real world. And um, in a way, we see him right from the beginning in exile. Um, he's being separated from his, um, uh, the love of his life, his, uh, his human partner. And, um, and he's n not permitted to spend time with his son. And so he's desperate to get onto the other side and they're desperate to, you know, route the, uh, the evil vamps from, uh, from their side of the world. So it's a, it's